other way. We're going to let the car take over. Oh, I feel the seat coming in. Oh, yeah. Around the ground right. yeah. yeah, it's a little Pushing me back. Yeah, yeah. Pushing you where? It's, it's supporting my left hand really? side. Yeah. Wow. Right, so there we go. We have adaptive cruise control switched on. And once we get into sort of a steadier driving situation, the vehicle will begin to drive itself. Oh, we've got another vehicle caught between us this time as well. So the car should help us meander around here. It's there actually steering. It is actually steering. I'm going to help it back in a little bit to set up for the demo. It's still doing our speed control, so Pete's going to pull up to a stop here, and hopefully I will detect it. And there we go, the steering wheel's the little icon I'm looking at down here. So it pulls away. So is it? how is it controlling your speed? Is it just a certain distance from the car in front of you? Yeah, so what we're doing is, well, I've got a speed control. It's going to help you a little bit, stay on the curb. Um, so we've got a pair of cameras up in this cluster up here, looking out the front, like stereo vision like we've got. And there's also three radar units in the front of the vehicle. And a combination of those stereo camera and like triple radar units are picking up the other vehicles on the road. Um, things like if there were guardrails down the side as well. And then also the camera is picking up the other vehicle and the lane markings and guiding us along behind it. So yeah. I'm it doesn't seem like it's 100% precise if you had to stop it going on the curb. Well, we're kind of right at the edge of its performance. So the reason okay. we're doing this test at this kind of, this demo at this sort of speed of yeah, about 12 miles an hour is there is a limit of the steering torque that Mercedes are willing to apply. So it goes from like a driver support system to a sort of full on almost driverless car. So let's say it's purely a, an or, or semi-autonomous support function really. So you see on the straight here it's doing fine and the system really is marketed as a sort of start stop traffic, you know, driving system for straightish roads okay. or slightly meandering roads. Obviously to take you to the nearest bit of motorway would be quite some drive. Yeah. So like I say we're just running it down the back here on these little roads of So what would happen at high speed then? So at high speed you've got a uh, support function in terms of your steering. So up to this 18 miles per hour, this car will just do exactly what we've done there. Then above that speed, you must have your hands on the steering wheel and be at least you know, ready to take over the steering. But it will give you like a lane centering function to help you really sort of take the fatigue out of driving. So rather than you having to sort of drive along the road and just make all the little adjustments to keep yourself in the road, it will just do that for you. And then it will use the adaptive cruise control that will work up to what, 200 kilometers per hour, so it's 140 odd kilometers per uh, miles per hour, potentially for yeah, full on speed control. So I'm just going to click it back into action here, and then we'll pull up behind that vehicle ahead so I don't do anything on the brakes. So it's seen it detected it's there, and we'll pull us up behind it. So if you hour long traffic jam, 